Dress the tombstone. Um, it's still going to be a huge threat to them in the in these fights. Yep. Uh, as chicken fighters will go for a secondary carry in the mid lane, uh, probably going nice. to be again an early pusher as well because presence of the Dark Lord. Only for the Undying. Usually, Undyings go for like an over Venom to make sure that once you hit the Shaman ones, you just can chase him endlessly. But without it, he did go for Boots, a different proposition. Okay. Not going to be as successful. Might just be Shibet. dead here. The Mana Break level one. The Hammer of Purity is only Slow. for Hexu, and that's not going to stop Aqua. Ridiculously strong spell in lane that we've seen time and time again in the open qualifiers, and I think Goon Squad was one of the teams to abuse it the most as well. So. Just really difficult to deal with in the early levels. Oh, Later on, it falls flip. off a bit. He's going to use the ward to his advantage, and he's going to get the kill onto Supreme. Surprise him there. Yeah, I agree. It's, a, it's, it's mighty concerning that he does take a death. He's no longer the mm -hmm. glass cannon he used to be back before 7.0, where you'd lose half your souls and you kind of just lose the game as Shibe dies. And maybe, maybe even Era as well. Techie's not the yeah. fastest of heroes, especially with the Orb of Corrosion and uh, that I mana break slow. Him. Over Corrosion still ticking him down. Mana break slow. They just need one more hit, but the anti mage. He's close to keeping even with the AM. But the AM also gets the kills, right? Which is why he has True. the lower CS as well, because he's playing aggressive. Limp going for Supreme, but he gets surprised by a blast off. And they know Limp is the lane dominator, hence we just need to bring more people into the mid lane. There it is. Limp. Okay, he does get the stun off. Not quite enough for to kill a tower, and Hanskin could be in trouble himself. Shibe has the burrow strike in a second. He's gonna use it. Hanskin stun. Hits by two raises. Hanskin will die. And this tower can now be denied. Most likely they've been pointing out. And now they action. gank on the blink dagger on his Shibe has one too. Shibe. He wanted the haste rune. He doesn't get nope. it. Instead, he gets turns into a chicken. Now he's gonna get fried. Wait, and poor Shibe will die. Bengen. He does want to fight this. There's the tombstone used, the snakes as well. All the units are out. And the guard is getting body blocked. <laughs> He's getting body blocked by his teammate, who's a bit too slow. The avalanche still comes out. There's a toss into the shackles. The SF's going to die to those snakes as Bengen. He's the only one that can survive this Don't onslaught, win. but he's also been turned into a chicken. Back and eventually, Bengen. He still has the blink, though. He might go for the blink avalanche, but he is biding his time instead going for the techies. Era, the first target. The tombstone gets dropped. There's the blast off. A little bit more damage to kill Era, and they'll get him. Well, the Tombstone also kind of wasted there. They can just back off, honestly. They don't even need to play aggressively this early. They just can't. They're going to make a play for the Earth by S4, and this is all effective farm on the Tiny as he finishes off the Echo Saber. Fight's breaking out in the mid lane. It looks like Hanskin has been left for dead. Silenced up. He will die to the right clicks of Supreme. So something now, at least for Chicken Fighters. Again, just breathing room, but that's uh, not. Chicken Fighters just looking to retreat. S4 nope. finds the SF, making the jump in, but SF spring with the BKB, pops the Requiem. Right-click damage going to be ignored thanks to the GA, but Limp falling to the magic damage here. That Techie's Mind doing good work as well, reducing the magic resist as they had nice. picked up the kill onto S4. Limp, though, looking to turn as Charlie reinitiating here onto Koma. He no longer has the Enrage, and down he will go. Koma, who's decided to go for the Diffusal Blade. AM Aqua showing him how it's done with the Mana Break. Yeah, and you can go for Bengen as well, but decide to go for more valuable targets in the techies. The illusions will deal with Bengen wow. instead. And he is really dividing and conquering here as Aqua takes down both supports. What he's going to want to do, and they immediately start running to that tower in hopes to cut him off. They're just a little bit late, of course, because Senken can TP to the tower, so he's going to beat him there. Uh -huh. uh, but Supreme is dying in the mid lane. It's just dead. Aqua silenced up for a while. Coma as well. He's going to keep him burned on the mana as perhaps they've gone a bit too deep. That's going to be Aqua oh. going down. Aegis, remember, on limp. Pacing after him. I don't know if uh, that was in Romero's script. Hanskin in trouble. He's going to get the hex onto Shibe at the very least and actually try and surround him with the Serpent Wards. Oh, wow. S4 wow. is going to counter initiate as well, but he's going to find himself now trapped in the Serpent <laughs> Wards. He's going to have to wait for the Blink Dagger to free. No, he just denies one of the wards. Never mind. And he's free. Yeah. And Goon Squad get away, was... only losing the AM. He was lucky that one of the wards got hit by the techies there. Yeah, it, uh, well, I de-warded one. I'm going to take all of them in, t in the face. But yeah, you're right. They can just swap triangles here. Because if, if Chicken Fighters now takes over the enemy triangle, all they can do is farm. But if Goon Squad takes over the triangle, they can, they can also this. push mid like they're doing right now. And they're going to be able, able to take Big down the silence. Tower. Fiend before he can do anything. Era up. in a similar situation is going to fall. Hanskin does die as a result, however, as Limp tries to dive the high ground. But thanks to the Garden Angel, he's capable of doing this without taking too much damage. Aim also joins in. Bengen's the target. He gets destroyed by the Mana Void. I don't want to... Like, yeah, just, just because of this. They're smoking out of the base, but Techies has almost no mana. 
Um, which is very concerning because all of his skills very oh. mana intensive. They jump an illusion of Limp. Shibe is going to pay the price for that as Limp charging on in, supported by the Blink Fragments. The GA is out, and Ursa Warrior is going to be shackled up. The Enrage, at least, is going to reduce that to almost nil. As the Tombstone still alive, quickly being focused by the Serpent Awards, but now Koma in trouble. His Enrage has ended, and so is his life. Shib is bought back, but he's not going to be able to do anything here as the Blink Fragments slowing Supreme to a crawl. They do apply um. the mana break. Okay, uh, the, the, the epicenter, they kind of baited with a shadow damage on Supreme here, but Supreme is still going to fall together with Shime. So I said two. to Supreme, there are the Blink Fragments, in onto Supreme as Koma kind of separating himself from the enemy oh, team. No. Gets off the BKB this time around, though, but Limp's going to get tossed back by S4. The Bro Strike's going to find him. Serpent Ward's out yet again, and Charlie is going to be trying to get in onto this team fight. Surrounded himself by the Serpent Wards, but still lands the Mana Break, the Mana Void, rather. That's going to find the kill onto the Undying, as they have lost the Shaman. <laughs> Koma just trying to find a target. A Supreme's going to BKB and pop the ultimate, which does catch Charlie, but not with any damage. And now Chicken Fighters, what do they have left in the tank? Uh, nothing. I'm going to die. And let me just say that that team fight was with uh, S4 being stuck in the wards for half the team fight, by the way. <laughs> so, yeah, GG. GG. I, I think once that happens, once you realize, hey, they just beat us with Tidy <laughs> Blink BKBing inside the Serpent wards, I'm pretty certain we're going to lose this game. Yep. I think this game has been over, honestly, since the lanes ended. Uh, the lanes went way too bad for them. You can't pick on dying and techies and lose your lanes. It's hard to say if useless, mm -hmm. right? So, actually, Necrofall's pretty good against her. If she goes physical damage. And then the immediate <laughs> Necro counter with the Doom. Probably the hardest Necro counter you yeah. can find. Doom dispels oh, no, it's... upon cast, so it does uh, real. Also, just one difficulty, I think, for Shibe this game is who exactly he wants to be Dooming in each of these fights, because there's a lot of good Doom targets. B basically two, right? The Storm yes. uh, and the Necro are oh, both top amazing good Doom targets, as they will get. They get. Bengen. Yeah, first blood with auto attacks, honestly. They did spear him back on Bengen, but afterwards it just punished him with um, him. And not find Limp. He's going to catch him on the ward, the as the Static Remnant attack. does give vision for the tower to hit Supreme a second time, but. Limp will be fine here. Finds himself a water bottle. He'll be A-OK. -okay. Top lane. Looks like a bit of a spar as they go on to S4, and they will actually catch him here. The sampler builds for the Lifestealer 1-1-1 one, 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 enables them to actually close the gap. And with even a level 1... Game. I mean, isn't Is she? Have you ever laned with a CM yeah. with a Sven? She's just... I mean, come on, CM. You got to be more subtle, sweetheart. <laughs> that is... No, you mean like her love, yeah. her love emotions. Right? All of her emotions oh, okay. are out. <laughs> No, no, I always thought CM was a sociopath, so I don't think she has emotions, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. Sibe, uh, in the bottom lane, Era jumps onto this. Beautiful, actually. You got two heroes with that, and they don't seem concerned about his damage. And apparently they're right to not be concerned, because Shiva's dying can't to Peksu. Attack. Peksu's beating him! <laughs> wow, this is why he likes to play Jakiro, the true core of the early game. Yeah. Necrofos, the one point in Ghostshard actually slows his farming a fair true. amount, but if he is not forced to do that, all of a sudden this hero Supreme? is free to snowball. Be dead lane. Yeah, Supreme. I think dual breath is enough. Yep. I think he's just gonna die to it. Fire. Hit him with like a fire just in case. And Peksu, the core killer! Yep. That deserves a tip. This man has been absolutely uh, an atrocious Stop. Top lane. Uh, hero for Jake. They fighters. drop another tombstone. This time it is level two, but once again, Hans gonna waste no time taking it down. And S4 looks to turn. Three points now to Death Poles nice. as the spear from Hanskin will secure the kill onto Bengen. That kill is gonna give him six stacks now. Oh my god, that's very true, actually. But let's not forget the most fun hero Supreme. on the map, Mr. Oh. Yeah, another kill just, just from the two supports. supports again. They're not even using any resources for this, just the supports ganking. Mars playing like an offlaner at this point as Lim joins in. He's a double damage. Tombstone gold for Hanskin. They're gonna go for the Undying. They got his tombstone. Now they take the real one. Undying. Oh, they try to doom the storm. Try to get the double damage away, but for now it's impossible. They play with Shim his life. Oh. But Peksu could be in trouble here. He is one last ice bath. That's gonna be his dying will, allowing wow. them to get the kill on Shibe. Even from the grave, Pexu is a useful core. Yep. And Sorry, BKB. I think that's the right choice, but it's a very desperate one. It, it is desperate, but it's the only choice, really, I think they have. And there's oh. the Blink. This is why she's desperate, by the way, because of these constant arenas into the macro bar. Ice path as well. They keep her pinned to the arena, but she doesn't quite die. Lifestealer comes in for reinforcements. Pexu's committing for the skill. They have Doom the Necrophos, though. S4 in oh, trouble. Oh, nice. The same Lina. murdered Pexu, and that's going to be S4 falling as well. Big kill. Good counter initiation here for Chicken Fighters. But Storm decides to join in. He knows there's no Doom, which means Lin has a chance to kill all three, perhaps. Is he the cleanup squad they were looking for? Gods are going to slow him down. The stun misses, and that means Ship is going to die. The next to die will be Era. Killed off. Oh, oh, there we go. <laughs> killed off for the Static Remnant. As Hanskin decides to TP in the face of life. You know, this one's a real one. He's going to go back home. Yeah, yeah, he's going back home, and uh, no stuns here, ready. He still needs gold for the crystals, but they're going to kill her. Oh, bottom. 
Yeah, Lina uh, has to use the BKB, try to TP. Is there enough damage? They throw the tree, and oh my god, Aqua really mashed that Lina down. Yeah. That feels like the enemy triangle. This is the right play. BKB is up on the tomb, though. They're gonna stop the life dealer for now. Three percent used, they lack the damage. Nope. nope. He's been bursted. That's Koma down. Lina's still alive, though. They do get the tomb off. This time onto S4. He's quite tanky hard with Akai and Sanj. Monkey King will be destroyed as the two right, supports wipe. died together. It's gonna Everyone's be getting ready to deny S4. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to killing the tombstone first. <laughs> S4 retaliation. Level death on mine. Which they have actually. They purchased the shard. Level death. It's back. Nice. I like it. I like it. Tidy. Doesn't really care though. He has the Aegis. He's probably going to do some double damage. Force him to kill him in his first life. Maybe overcommit by doing so. 30 seconds to that Aegis to finish. Oh, that's going to be Lena dead. dead. Beautiful arena once again. They're going for the supports. I'm dying. This is going to experience death as the Doom still available here for Shibe, but honestly, a Doom won't save you from this team fight. Aqua, again, still has Aegis. Oh. They Doom him now, uh, so they better eight, not seven kill seconds on Aegis? Seconds. They, yeah. they might have this perfectly. They might. They Wait, gotta deny him. him. They deny him. him. Uh, good deny squad. Him quick. They did they it. Denied they denied him. him. <laughs> they did. And that means the Aegis is up, and that means he's back with full <laughs> HP. They didn't consider that part. Aqua. Outplaying oh, the enemy, no. they bring down Era. In comes the storm, limps out of mana though, gets hit by the Laguna Blade. Limp again is out of mana, so Aqua has to help with a toss. Hands can Yul set to the Life Stealer here. They miss the stun, they hit him with the Ice Path though. The spear into the Vortex, and that's going to be Koma finally falling down as GG. they hit the Death Seeker, and the GG is called. Chicken Fighters get destroyed for a second game in a row. Goon Squad a bit too strong. I, I love these like really silly interactions in pro games where everyone's like, you hit him, oh, well, it will hit him. Thank mm -hmm. you.